Rebecca Dirks for PremierGuitar.com. We're here with Phil X and Don Kasha checking out the new uh, small little compact and portable evil robot troublemaker. Uh, Phil, what's the story behind this one? Okay, it's small. All right, so we're going to go to... It's uh, the, the story behind it is uh, basically, you know, now we have, we had the Evil Robot US model that came out and then we made the uh, Asian version of the Evil Robot and this year we wanted to do something small for, you know, we have a lot of fans that can't afford either. So we thought, hey, let's do like a little practice amp or something like that. It's got effects. You can plug an iPod into it and jam along. It's a learning tool in that respect. But uh, we call it the Troublemaker because you can also throw it at people and hit them in the face. Uh, Premier Guitar does not endorse this use. Okay, that's not. I don't. I don't either. I'm just joking, uh, unless, unless the person's really awful. But here's the deal. Um, Evil Robot was a song that I wrote years ago about a psycho ex-girlfriend, and and Dustin's idea, Dustin Jack from uh, Fred Americana, it was his idea to call the amp the Evil Robot. And on my latest record, plug plug plug, um, we play instruments and shit. Um, there's a song called Kiss My Troublemaker. And he goes, hey, let's call this amp the Troublemaker. And we're all like, hey, great idea. So, uh, yeah, so that's the story. Sounds good. And uh, how, how much does it run, anyways? $4 million. Wait, I don't even know. How much does it run? Uh, uh, it'll be re retailing for about 250 bucks. All right. Well, that's a good segue. Over to you, John. You're going to tell us a little bit about kind of some of the specs and what, what's packed into this baby, right? Right. Okay, so... It's a, it's a small amp, as you can see. Uh, it weighs about four pounds. It has a 10 watt uh, Class D power amp built into it. it it's a, a preamp, it's an analog based preamp uh, with built in effects. So it has two channels the clean channel and evil robot channel. And uh, the effects is the uh, chorus, delay, reverb, and auto wall. It also has some just really fast connections in the back where you can plug it into a regular amplifier. So you set it for clean, plug it in. Now you got a two channel amplifier with effects. Uh, it also has a headphone out. So just plug it into your headphones and play along. Uh, and it also has a, um, we call it a mobile device um, input, which allows you to plug it into like, you know, iPad, iPhone, uh, Android, whatever, whatever mobile device you have. So you can uh, play along with an app or with another song and record with it. Sounds good. There's a lot of stuff packed in there. Uh, Phil, you want to show us a little bit more of the tones and you'll, you'll kind of go with some of the settings. Where, what are we listening to right now? Uh, we're set on for the uh, distortion channel. And we have a little bit of reverb on it. Effects. <laughs> bring up the tone a little bit. So yeah, you can uh, adjust the gain level, change it, change it what you want. You can have a lot more gain or little little gain. Either way, just do it with the uh, the preamp control. The mat there's a master volume on it, so you can control the the master level on it. Um, Right now, well, let's go ahead into the clean channel and do some effects so you'll hear that a little bit clearer. Now we have uh, the chorus effect on with just the clean channel and a little bit of reverb. And then uh, we'll go ahead and go from, uh, with the chorus you have a rate control and actually with all the effects. So we could go from a slow to a fast chorus. Right. <laughs> okay, and then we'll go ahead and go into the delay effect. It's about a 250 millisecond delay. And then we can speed up the delay, give you a little slap back. And uh, we'll, 
go ahead and now switch over to the uh, auto wall, and we'll first put it on to. Uh, it's, it's like kind of like having a cocked wall where you're. Whoa. You're. <laughs> I knew if I said it, it would come come out. Of course. All right. Uh, so let's just do the wah setting and go ahead and play. So, so what it does is basically it just gives you a little bit a chime, a little bit more uh, highs added to your sound, and then you can mix that in with your existing tone control too. So you just get a nice little cri uh, just crispy sound. So do some uh, funk stuff. on the cock wall. Okay, now we're going to go into a full wall. Okay, and then we got to do some ACDC, right? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Go back to the ACDC tone. All right. That, and that's the amp. All right. Uh, when, are, when are these com coming out? Uh, around the April, May time frame. Sounds good. And if people want to learn more about them, where should they go online? They'll go to uh, uh, fredamericana.com. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> Thank you, John. This is Rebecca Dirks for premierguitar.com. If you want to check out more of our NAM coverage, you can go to premierguitar.com slash NAM or just subscribe to our YouTube channel. You want to play a little bit more? No! Oh, <laughs> my